Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss few seven marks questions. So these questions are very very important. So chala saal di annual exam lo repeat ayna questions. So this video ni skip che kunda end work chuna. So without delay, come into topic. So the question number one. If the tangent at any point on the curve, so what is the curve? X power two by three plus y power two by three equal to a power two by three. Intersect the coordinate axis at A and B. Then show that length of AB is constant. So here we can consider any curve. So this is any curve. The tangent at any point on the curve. For example, this is the point P. So draw the tangent line at point P. So this is the tangent line. This tangent line at any point P on the curve intersects the coordinate axis at A and B. Means x axis at A. Next, y axis at B. Then show that this length AB is what? Constant. So means we need to find the A coordinates and B coordinates. For that, First, you can find the tangent line equation. So, we know that what is the equation of the tangent formula? y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1. So, first we have the point x1 comma y1. So, here we can consider any parametric point. So, that point P is a cos cube theta comma a sin cube theta. So, this is the parametric point. So, because of this point satisfying the given equation, then we can say that the point is called a parametric point. Okay. So, first we can find what? Slope of the tangent. See so here, differentiate equation 1 with respect to x on both sides. So that is what d by dx of x power 2 by 3 plus d by dx of y power 2 by 3 which is equals to d by dx of a power 2 by 3. So here we know that this is of the form derivative of x power n. We know that derivative of x power n formula is n into x power n minus 1. So what is n here? 2 by 3. That is 2 by 3 into x power 2 by 3 minus 1. Similarly, this is also same. 2 by 3 into y power 2 by 3 minus 1. But here differentiate with respect to x. But function is what? y. So, we can do internal derivative. That is dy by dx. So, here derivative of constant. We know the derivative of constant 0. So, here we can send this one right hand side. Now, this is 2 by 3 into x power 2 by 3 minus 1. That is 2 minus 3 into 1, 3. 2 minus 3 minus 1 by 3. Which is equals to minus 2 by 3 into y power minus 1 by 3 dy by dx. So, 2 by 3, 2 by 3 cancel. From this, what is dy by dx? dy by dx equals to minus x power minus 1 by 3 divided by y power minus 1 by 3. Here power is negative, we can write reciprocal. So, just we can interchange these two. So, that is minus y write as numerator, x write in denominator. That is minus y power 1 by 3 by x power 1 by 3. So, this is what dy by dx. Now we can find the slope of the tangent. We know the slope of the tangent is what? dy by dx at point P. So therefore, dy by dx at point P is what? a cos cube theta comma a sin cube theta, which is equal to minus y coordinate a sin cube theta. A sin cube theta whole to the power of 1 by 3, so which is divided by x value, a cos cube theta, a cos cube theta whole power 1 by 3. 
so clearly both powers are same a a cancel and this 3 3 and this 3 3 cancel therefore what is the slope of the tangent m is equal to minus sin theta divided by cos theta so this is the slope of the tangent and we have the point x1 comma y1 and write the equation of the tangent y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1 y minus what is y1 a sin cube theta y minus a sin cube theta m value minus sin theta by cos theta minus sin theta divided by cos theta which is x minus x1 what is x1 a cos cube theta okay now we can do cross multiplication this is what y into cos theta y cos theta minus a sin cube theta into cos theta which is equals to minus sin theta into x that is minus x sin theta minus into minus plus a sin theta cos cube theta so you can sign minus x sin theta left hand side minus a sin cube theta cos theta right hand side so which becomes x sin theta plus y cos theta which is equals to a sin theta cos cube theta plus a sin cube theta cos theta now which is x sin theta plus y cos theta equals to in both the terms which one is common a sin cos here also a sin cos that is a sin theta cos theta is common so what will you get a sin common one cos common and two more cos that is cos square theta here plus sin square theta we know that cos square theta plus sin square theta value is one so you can send uh, this term to left hand side it should be divided that is x sin theta by a sin theta cos theta plus y cos theta by a sin theta cos theta which is equals to 1 clearly sin theta and cos theta get cancelled so this is x by a cos theta plus y by a sin theta equals to 1. Clearly this is of the form x by a plus y by b equals to 1. x intercept a cos theta, y intercept a sin theta. So clearly what is the point a? Therefore the point a is x intercept a cos theta comma 0 because of on the x axis the y coordinate of point a is 0. Similarly what is the b point? y intercept a sin theta there is no x so means on the y axis x coordinate is 0 that is 0 comma a sin theta so clear we got the point a and b then show that what length of a b the distance between a b is what constant so we can find the distance between two points from a b so which is square root of this is x1 and this is y1 x2 y2 what is the formula x2 minus x1 0 minus a cos theta that is minus a cos theta whole square next y2 minus y1 a sin theta minus 0 that is a sin theta whole square so clearly which is what square root of in both the terms a square a square is common a square of cos square theta plus sin square theta so which is square root of a square into 1 a square clearly square root cancel therefore a b is equal to what a what is a constant so clearly the length of a b is what constant next question number 2 so this is also similar to previous one here if the tangent at any point p on the curve 
leave the coordinate axis in A and B, then show that AP is to PP is constant. So this is the given curve, and let us consider the point is x1, comma y1, and this tangent meets the coordinate axis at A and P. Then show that AP is to BP. So this is what constant. So here also you can find the equation of the tangent. So first we can find the slope of the tangent. So first to differentiate the given curve. Otherwise you can apply log on both sides. So here this is log of x power m y power n which is equals to log of a power m plus n. Now product rule. Product can be written as log of first term plus log of second term. That is log x power m plus log y power n. So this is right as it is log of a power m plus n. Now this m goes to before of the log. Log a power m. That is m log a. The power ni mundur asayan. m log x. Say mikroda power ni mundur asayan. Plus n log y, which is equal to log a power m plus n. Now differentiate with respect to x on both sides. So that is constant m into d by dx of log x plus constant m into d by dx of log y. And right hand side derivative of this total term constant 0. Now m into derivative of log x 1 by x that is m by x plus n into derivative of log y that is 1 by y function y but here differentiate with respect to x. So you can do internal derivative that is d by dx of what y equals to 0. Now we can send m by x to right hand side therefore n by y dy by dx which is equal to what? Minus m by x. So we can send this term to right hand side. Now dy by dx which is equal to minus m into y minus m y by n into x n x. Now we can find the slope of the tangent that is what? dy by dx at point p x1 comma y1. So which is equal to what? Minus m y1 by n x1. This is slope of the tangent m. Now we can write the equation of the tangent. So therefore the equation of tangent is y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1. So this is y minus y1, y1 only. What is m? This one. Minus m y1 by n x1 into x minus x1. So we can do cross multiplication. y into n x1. That is n y x1. Minus y1 into n x1. That is minus n x1 y1. Multiplying inside. Minus m y1 x minus into minus plus m x1 y1. So you can send minus n x1 y1 right hand side minus m y1 x left hand side. So this becomes m y1 x plus n x1 y which is equals to m x1 y1 plus minus becomes plus n x1 y1. Now this is m y1 x plus n x1 y which is equal to in both the terms x1 y1 is common. So x1 y1 into what? m plus n. Now we can send this term to the left hand side. Now this becomes m y1 x divided by x1 y1 into m plus n plus n x1 y by x1 y1 into m plus n which is equals to 1. Clearly y1 y1 get cancelled x1 x1 get cancelled. So write this m to the denominator of this. That is x by 
m plus n into x1 by m. Next, plus y by, write this n to the denominator of this. That is m plus n into y1 divided by n equals to 1. What is the x intercept? m plus n into x1 by m. What is the y intercept? m plus n into y1 by m. So, therefore, you can write the point A and B. The point A is multiplying m x1 plus n x1 by m. A on the x axis, y coordinate is 0. Next, what is the point B? B lies on the y axis, x coordinate is 0. 0 comma this. That is m y1 plus n y1 divided by n. Okay. So, multiplying x1 inside m x1 plus n x1. Multiplying y1 inside m y1 plus n y1. Okay. Now, this is the point A and this is the point B. So, here we know that, uh, for example, the point A is x1 comma y1 and point B is x2 comma y2. And P x comma y. So this point P x comma divides A P and P B in the ratio x1 minus x is x minus x2. Okay. No? Now clearly what is the part P x1 y1? So right here x1 comma y1. P is x1 y1. And A is what? This one. That is, this is x1, y1 and b is x2, y2. Now, substituting the formula, x1 minus x, see here that is ap is to bp, which is equal to x1 minus x is to x minus x2. Now, clearly what is x1? This one, right mx1 plus nx1 divided by m minus x. What is x? x1 minus x1 is to x. Again, what is x? x1 minus x2. What is x2? 0. Okay. Now, clearly which is m x1 plus n x1 cross multiplication m into x1 minus m x1 divided by m is to x1. Clearly plus m x1 minus m x1 get cancelled. So this is n by m x1 is to x1. So x1 x1 cancel. So which is equals to what n is to m. Therefore a p is to b p equals to n is to m. What is the NHTM? This is a constant. Okay. If you have any doubts, comment and like and share. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you.